Hey friends, how's it going today? I'm going to do a knife video, of course. I uh, always do a knife video. It's been a while since I did one. So I thought it was about time. I've picked up quite a few pieces. I'll be posting some more videos of things coming in. Um, some of my favorite knives, as some of you may know, are titanium. Either frame locks, liner locks. I, just, I love the titanium handles. I love the way they feel. It's uh, kind of why I get Chris Reeve knives, fit and finish, the titanium, so on and so forth. So this is a Microtech video, and I've gotten uh, a few Microtechs in lately. This one is kind of a grail knife to me. It is a custom Tony Marfione uh, matrix. This is a mini matrix, and you've seen me do uh, a video on another that I had uh, picked up from the 2012 Blade Show that had carbon fiber. This one here, I'm doing a video today, is an all titanium version, mini matrix, with a high polished blade. And uh, as Tony's custom knives are, fit and finish is perfect. This has got a flame backspacer. It's got beta gray titanium for the handle, pivots polished, and like I mentioned, the blade is polished. This also has, I think it's kind of cool, is a tritium insert in the flipper button. Not quite sure how useful it is, but it's a neat embellishment. Flipper. Tony's grinds are impeccable, as well as his polishing skills. Very cool. This is a tritone blade, where you have the high polished on the swedge, and down below, kind of a satin finished, flat, with a bead blasted blood groove. It's kind of cool. Nice early lockup, strong detent. The Mini Matrix fits really nice in hand. Feels really nice. The uh, titanium is not slippery, and uh, sometimes you think titanium it is. This isn't even really a uh, orange peel finish which sometimes you'll get on titanium folders, give you a little bit more purchase on it. It doesn't have that, but it's not slick. Where the production version in aluminum is kind of, kind of slick. So you can see the difference in blades here. The main profile is the same on both knives, but of course the custom you can see the difference there. Virtually the same pivot, other than this has a, a polished pivot. Backspacer on both are titanium, though this is an anodized uh, grayish purple. Pocket clips are very similar. You have a little bit more curve on the custom. It sits a little bit further back, covering one of the screws, which I'm not sure if that's going to make a big difference. Maybe if the screw would have ever come unscrewed for some reason, it wouldn't allow it to come out. But uh, even though these knives have 12 screws, they're all lock Loctited in. So I've used this quite a bit and uh, never really had an issue with it. So, But yeah, very, very cool knife. I'm actually thinking about um, trading this in. There's a stone wash version because I really want to put it in my pocket and use it. I love the size of it because it's thin, still has a relatively thick blade. But just for everyday carry, it's, it's just a sweet, sweet knife. I'm just worried about scratching the, the high polish. So I'm, I'm kind of wheeling and dealing right now and see if I can't get a hold of a uh, uh, stone wash version of it. Let's see how the detent just kind of sucks it in there. 
Everything's perfect on the knife, centered perfectly. If you have a chance to get one of these, they are expensive, but I think they're worth the money. Flipper works great. Of course, it has the stainless steel insert on the lock bar, on the titanium lock bar, that if it were to ever wear down, which I can't ever see it going all the way over. I mean, that would be virtually impossible. But if it did, it's replaceable. I was able to get my hand on some extra screws in case, because there are 12 screws in this knife. Oh, by the way, the blade itself, the blade steel is uh, 154 cm, which is a, a steel that I really, really enjoy. Holds a great edge. It's around 58 Rockwell. Polishes nice, so on and so forth. So anyhow, that's just a uh, sort of quick look at the knife. And um, again, if you're in a position to buy one, I wouldn't hesitate. Very, very nice. There are custom versions out there too that, uh, again, have carbon fiber with embellishments. Some have stone wash blades. Um, I've seen some that the insert here has a carbon fiber inlay with a carbon fiber handle. That's kind of cool. There is an all black handle carbon fiber one, all black hardware with a two-tone black blade, satin flats. That's kind of cool. So anyhow, thanks for watching friends and uh, I'll be posting some more videos. Feel free to leave comments. Thanks for supporting my channel. Have a good one.